In a brand new display cabinet in London's Natural History Museum is a four and a half billion year old fragment which hurtled from the outer reaches of our solar system. It's called the Winchcombe Meteorite after the small English town where it came to Earth in February. Its arrival was captured on film by a network of special cameras before landing in the driveway of a family home. And it came as quite a surprise to the family living there. It was peak lockdown, so to speak, so I wasn't really doing anything that evening, funnily enough. Um, and I heard something shatter outside. I had my window open, as I often do of an evening, and lo and behold, if it wasn't a meteorite. <laughs> Scientists say the meteorite is incredibly rare. It's called carbonaceous chondrite, which have been known to contain organics and amino acids, the key ingredients for life. So it's made up of things like water-bearing minerals and things like that which, you know, suggests at some point in its history, it was exposed to water. And wherever we find water on Earth, we find life. And so water in our solar system is something we're really, really interested in. So this, this meteorite might answer some of those questions about where the water was, where it came from. London's Natural History Museum is reopening its doors on Monday after about five months of closure due to coronavirus restrictions. It's the longest it's been closed since the Second World War and will be the first time the public get to see the Winchcombe meteorite.